Okay, today, I want to talk about the subject of being supernatural. Like, what does it mean to be supernatural? And especially um, when you think of the mindset of Christians living in the natural realm, like in the earth that we live in. You know, so oftentimes, even in the Christian community, we hear people say, well, you know, I'm just getting through life. I'm just trying to make it. I believe, you know, I'm going to, you know, one day, you know, go off into the sweet by and by and everything will be good then. But it, that's the wrong perspective. We even have Christians thinking about, oh, I can hardly wait for the rapture because then I'll get out of this place where we actually have the power to create we actually have the power to make a difference in the earth because we are not earthly beings trying to get into heaven. We are heavenly beings living in the earth. And as soon as you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, you have become supernatural because his eternal life, the gift of eternal life, comes inside your spirit and you become a brand new creation. So you have access to all that he is and all that he has. You are seated in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Therefore, you can in the earth live without expectation to see heaven invade the earth. You can work miracles in the earth. Like Jesus, for example, he was teaching 5,000 people on the side of the mountain and they were hungry and he said feed them to his disciples he just assumed that his disciples would know that they had access to supernatural power and provision they didn't quite get it at first and so he walked them through it taught them and they fed 5,000 people with just a few loaves and fishes it wasn't long after that when they fed 4,000 he had them go through the same thing because he was teaching them how to be supernatural in Luke 10, we see Jesus sending out his disciples to go out and to preach the gospel everywhere. And they came back with this exciting report. They said, Jesus, it was so neat being out there. Even the demons were subject unto us in your name. And Jesus said, I know I was watching Satan fall out of the heavens like lightning because they were operating in the supernatural dimension. Yes, they were touching people in the natural, but it was out of the supernatural empowerment that they received from Jesus, that they were just really moving in that power to see lives change in the natural. You are a supernatural being. You are a heavenly being living in the earth. And Jesus wants you to know the power that is within you. Do you know in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, Jesus said, you shall receive power. That word power, by the way, is dunamis. It's supernatural power miracle working power, the inherent uh, power of God, but it also refers to excellence of soul, moral excellence, uh, the power to create wealth, and the power that comes with military might, the combination of military forces. That's what that word power means, dunamis in the Greek. Jesus said you will receive that kind of supernatural power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will witness of me in all the nations of the world. Now we know that when we receive Jesus Christ, the Spirit of God comes and indwells our human spirit because Jesus said that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. But what about when the Spirit of God comes upon us? Now I had our intercessors in a prayer meeting a little while ago and I was sharing this scripture with them. And I said, let's just wait on the Lord right now. Let's worship him and meditate on him until we feel the spirit of God coming upon us, like a sense of his glory, his presence. And so we all waited. And I said, when you feel the spirit of God upon you, stand to your feet. So one by one, the intercessors started standing to their feet because that corporate anointing started coming into the room and it was coming upon them. They could feel the Spirit of God upon them. So I said, now all of us are feeling the Spirit of God upon us, which means we can receive dunamis. If the Spirit of God is upon us, Jesus said, you shall receive 
dunamis power, supernatural power, when the Spirit of God comes upon you. So they waited on the Lord and we received by faith dunamis power. We said, we're receiving supernatural power. We're receiving miracle power. We're receiving, you know, the power of God. We're receiving the power of moral excellence. We're receiving, you know, an excellent soul. We're receiving the power to create wealth. We're receiving. And we started drinking deep. I'm getting high just talking about it right now. But we received deep of that dunamis power of God that came upon us uh, when the Holy Spirit was upon us. And so when we acknowledged his spirit, then we could receive into our lives that dunamis power. So then I said, okay, let's ask the Lord where to distribute now that dunamis power. And we started praying for different people, different situations. We started praying for financial miracles. We started releasing that supernatural power. And God started shifting things and we had answers to prayer. It was just awesome. We journaled our prayer requests and started seeing the manifestation or the fulfillment of those, of those prayer requests. Why? Because we were believing in God's supernatural power being given into a supernatural being. A heavenly being living in the earth, operating in God's supernatural power. The Spirit of God is with you right now. And He is empowering you to be supernaturally effective in the earth. The Holy Spirit's power, dunamis, is in you. You can receive that dunamis when He comes upon you. Believe that you're a supernatural being. You're not a normal being. You know, you're not a normal human being at all. You're a supernatural being living in the earth. My book, Spiritual Revolution, will really help give you insights about this time in church history that we are living in. Because we're not just churchgoers. This is not a time in history just to play church or just to attend church, but it's to operate in the fullness of God's power. So God wants you to be part of that revolution. He wants you and I to be part of creating that revolution. So that book will help you tremendously. And as always, I would love to recommend my Glory School teaching. Find a Glory School in your area if there's one near you because there's nothing like a live Glory School. But also get the Glory School CDs, DVDs, or downloads on our online bookstore. Um, uh, xpministries.com. Just go to the store there and you can order those and it'll be a great resource for you, your church, your family, your friends. And it's just one of those things that will, will um, transform you and transition you in this season of spiritual revolution. God bless you, supernatural beings.